Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday, uh, the Wednesday of Holy Week. Uh, tomorrow we celebrate the beginning of the sacred triduum. And I really hope and pray that this year, I know Lent has seemed to fly by. This whole year has flown by. And uh, that's just the nature of the human condition. Uh, life goes by really quickly. However, for the next few days, I pray that all of us can take a step back, slow down, reflect, be contemplative, prayerful, reflective, and absorb everything that God has done and continues to do for us. Let us just take a moment away from the hurried condition of the world and reflect slowly and prayerfully on this whole holy sacred week that we celebrate. Let's not rush through it. Let's sit with it for a good long time and allow it to sink in. In our scriptures today, the first reading, we heard that the, the prophet submitted himself to abuse and to buffets and spitting and, and, and all of that, and he did not fight back. He turned the other cheek. He, he, was, he accepted all of the evil that was thrown at him, offering it up. We see that same thing, of course, in Jesus being the lamb and willingly doing his Father's will, taking every sin of all time on his back as he carried the cross and died that horrific suffering death that he did for us. Today in the gospel we too hear about Judas, his betrayer, and how how many times in our lives have we said, No, not me. It shouldn't it can't be me. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Somebody else. You know, we we don't take ownership for our fallings, our failings, our shortcomings. We point fingers, you know, and we lay the blame elsewhere. Not my fault. Well, Jesus and Judas looked at each other. Judas says, surely it's not I. And Jesus simply said to him, so you have said. Judas wasn't fooling anyone, especially not God. God knows our hearts. We're not hiding anything that he doesn't know. We can't pull the wool over his eyes. You know, so we have to own up to our own betrayals, our own denials. And the silver lining is, of course, with God, there is mercy and forgiveness. So with the humble and contrite heart, let us turn to our Lord. Own up to our failings and beg his mercy and we shall receive his mercy. Let us pray our evening prayer together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Evil men said, let us make the just men suffer. He sets himself against our way of life. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. 
He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my refuge and strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath. Great men, an illusion. Placed on the scales, they rise. They weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in a constantly changing world. Evil men said, let us make the just man suffer. He sets himself against our way of life. He took our, all our sins upon himself and asked forgiveness for our offenses. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. He took all our sins upon himself and asked forgiveness for our offenses. In Christ we have found deliverance, through his blood, the forgiveness of our sins. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else, that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person. Both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In Christ we have found deliverance through his blood, 
the forgiveness of our sins. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Be kind to one another, compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as his dear children. Follow the way of love, even as Christ loved you. He gave himself for us as an offering to God, a gift of pleasing fragrance. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. We praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. The Master says, My hour is close at hand. I and my disciples shall celebrate the Passover in your house. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Master says, My hour is close at hand. I and my disciples shall celebrate the Passover in your house. The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask him, Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share in your passion, through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory, and bring us at last into their fellowship. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom, and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night 
and uh, have a blessed Triduum, Holy Easter, and uh, remember to go slow. Let's spend some nice, reflective, contemplative, prayerful times. See you all tomorrow. God bless.